One of the largest gas suppliers in the state of Alabama will not supply nitrogen to prisons to help in capital punishment. No state in the country has yet to conduct an execution by nitrogen hypoxia, which would in theory kill a person by forcing them to breathe in nitrogen instead of a source of oxygen. News 19's Archie Snowden joins us live and has more on this story. Well, Greg and Emily, as you know, the state of Alabama was approved to use nitrogen hypoxia to kill a death row inmate as, a, as an alternative to the lethal injection. Well, right to life advocates say that just just no ethical way to kill people. We need to move beyond the, uh, the use of the death penalty. Demetrius Minor and his organization, conservatives concerned about the death penalty, have kept a close eye on the execution policy run by the state of Alabama, which is death by lethal injection and are on a mission to stop executions in the state altogether. Capital punishment gives the government too much power. Um, and given the history of the death penalty, uh, we've gotten it wrong once. Getting it wrong once is one time too many. And that's a chance I'm just not comfortable taking again. Minor is making reference to the failed execution attempt by lethal injection of convicted killer Alan Eugene Miller after several attempts of accessing Miller's veins with a needle. Two days prior to that date of the execution, it was reported that Miller requested the nitrogen hypoxia method, but Airgas, the company that supplies the nitrogen, refused to supply the gas for the purpose of human execution. In a recent statement to our news partner AL.com, an air gas spokesperson said, regardless of the philosophical and intellectual debate surrounding the death penalty itself, providing nitrogen for the purpose of executing people is not consistent with our company values. It, it violates um, pro-life pro um, conservatism. It violates fiscal conservatism and the fact that it costs more to execute someone uh, than to have someone in prison with life without parole. Well, the nitrogen hypoxia method requires a mask being placed on the inmate's face as opposed to a needle in the arm. But most say that this decision by air gas to, to, not, to not supply the gas for a lethal injection just, just proves that the uh, death penalty is morally unenforceable. For now, we're live. Archie Snowden, News 19.